What is going on everyone? I'm sorry it's a little dark. Let me see if I get some more light. Let me get some light in here. Um, it's a little dark. I'm just getting out of work. And uh, we're going to go pick up the scat pack. I got my girlfriend's WRX. So I'm going to go pick up the scat pack. I'm going to talk about two things. Kind of talk about situations I've been dealing with with these dealerships. And we're going to talk about my Max Care. I want to give you guys some more updates on how I'm being treated with Max Care and Dodge in general. So a lot to talk about. Let's get on the road. And uh, let's get in this bad boy right here. Oh yeah. first so I've been going to the same dealership to actually Cherry Hill Dodge for years ever since I got the vehicle. I purchased the vehicle in Delaware but it's been serviced at Cherry Hill uh, for years and to be quite honest with you guys I've had um, friends that have been in and out of these dealership that's always making sure I'm taken care of. Not that I'm getting hooked up but I'm taken care of like I don't have to worry about things. Now most of my friends have moved on to bigger and better things um, and I had to go through the normal ropes if you will of these dealerships. And lately, I've been having nothing but issues. Um, in particular, I'll, I'll say this, my chargers have some type of suspension issue where when I'm hitting bumps, um, the chassis is like shaking around. The tires stay planted, but the chassis is shaking. I'm gonna do a whole other video on like what's happened to the vehicle, which, what's ever been wrong with the vehicle since I've owned it to kind of give you guys that perspective. But essentially, I went to the dealership and said I had one bad rear shock. The only ones to replace one bad rear shock, which I found to be unacceptable. I want at least a minimum two rear shocks. I mean, this was a cash transaction. They would recommend two, if not all four shocks. Keep in mind, my scat pack has, right now, about 115,000 miles. Um, that was the first thing. The second thing is when I went to the dealership, you know, I also mentioned to them, I'm keeping this all short, by the way. It's just, this thing forever to explain. I also mentioned I had low, low tire pressure. Uh, they checked it out, quote unquote, checked it out, and said, hey, I have nothing wrong. When I got the vehicle back, uh, I still had low tire pressure. So none of that really made any sense to me. Uh, oh, by the way, they also mentioned that the rear shock, uh, they thought had originally had oil on it, then had dirt. So I just, I got to the point where I got fed up with the dealership. So I got some independent, I got a buddy that owns an independent shop look at the vehicle, found a few things out, Including that one of my rims has been argued with the corporate Dodge didn't get too far and I got this new dealership um, and they ended up replacing all four of my shocks under my max pair warranty and replaced my rim under the max pair warranty so um, they did my oil change the, the car is ready to run I'm so excited to get it back I got four brand new tires on there I'm gonna do a whole video on that as well so I guess my first point is I want to say that you know if you're not happy with the type of service you're receiving from your dealership then start looking at other dealerships other dealerships are better they're not all the same so uh, this is my very first time dealing with uh, I believe it's pronounced Lucas they're in number 10 off of route 38 uh, and I've been very happy with the uh, service manager over there named Mike um, and I've been super happy with it so far I actually see how the car performs but I've been very, very happy so uh, let's get to the dealership and um, I'll talk to you guys a little more about the Max Care and how that's been treating you guys. All right. Right there on your left. 
Yes. Morris, Emma, right here. Oh, yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Cool. Have a good day. Thank you. Uh, where is the vehicle? It would probably be right outside the service. Okay. Can I go that way or go back out the front? Um, I'm not sure if that's locked up. I think you might have to lock it up. Okay. Cool. All right, I just got the keys for the car. Everything checked out, so let's go find it. Um, they got a random Bentley. Still in there. Let's see if it's over here. Walking in the dark. Unfortunately, well, you guys can't see me for shit. Unfortunately, of my hours, uh, I can never seem to get places before they actually close down. I think I see it. It's over here somewhere. Ooh, thought that was it. No, that's not a scat pack. This is a scat pack. Michelin tires, so we'll be uh, hold on here. I'll be doing a whole video on those tires as well. Let's get in and I'm talking. Good morning, guys. So let's wrap up this video. I'm gonna jump in the car, I gotta go to work. So let's jump in and let's go. Friday, it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all you sexy stud muffins watching my video. Uh, crap, I need to grow some flowers. Anyway, that's not why I took this video. Um, kind of want to wrap up the video. So, we, you know, I just, just like two days has gone by since the last clip that you guys were watching. I've been in the car. So, I've had some time to drive it to work and stuff, and it's been phenomenal uh, to have four brand new shocks, four tires, uh, get the one rim uh, replaced that was bent. So, this car is just uh, you just forget, you know, you gotta get used to how the car drives. Um, so, it's it's nice to have, this is really nice. Um, I still feel like I feel something, I don't know, it's just like, I don't know, I, don't know, I feel like, I, like the car needs to warm up as far as like the ride's concerned. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I could just be crazy. So, I kind of want to wrap up um, talking about Max Care. So, this video kind of, kind of go over like, Max care and dealerships and my input and what I think, you know, how go to a dealership that treats you right and let that take care of you and do what's right by you, not what's right by them. So we kind of discussed that. And this Max care, I think, is going to start to pay off for itself. I'm going to do a separate video. Uh, I'm actually going to pull the exact how much I paid for it, um, how much stuff I've had done, and how much money I technically would have saved. Um, because at this point, Max care is now covered four shocks. I want to say two brake calipers, um, like a ball joint or something to that nature as well on that. So there's a lot of things replaced I didn't even know technically gets covered under this warranty. I honestly got it for the transmission and the engine because when I got this car in 15, it was the first time I put the ZF transmission in it. And I figured, well, if I don't want to keep this car long enough, that this warranty can pay for itself. So I will do a whole video on that. But um, it does appear that it, it's something you guys should be considering so um, you know the cars I'll keep you guys updated so you can expect a video on that and I'm gonna do another video if you want to keep your eye on uh, that kind of goes over everything that went wrong with the car um, if you're curious right now what you can actually go watch there is a video very recently that I posted it's, it's done phenomenal for me my first video to hit a hundred thousand views uh, is on um, it's a review on how the car's been treating me this past 100,000 miles. So I kind of go over a little bit of everything, including what was wrong with it, what's good about it, how the transmission motor's been holding up, how the car in general's been holding Caution. up. Red light camera. Sorry about that, it's my radar. Um, so, I'd recommend checking that video out, otherwise there's some other videos coming. You guys enjoy your Friday. I think I covered, I need to cover for this video. Maybe not, who knows. Caution, but, red light camera. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but anyway, I'm 
going to get out of here. It was nice seeing you guys. Well, it was nice for you guys to see me again. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.